This is the famous Gothic Hall. It's become so famous, not just because of its beauty, but also because of its ghostly goings-on. Sometimes if you're in here on your own, you may hear footsteps walking around you when there's nobody else here. Also, doors like to open and close on their own accord. But the most famous ghost here has to be the lady in white. A few years ago, I decided to have a wander around with some colleagues. And as we walked through the tea room into the Gothic Hall, I sensed the presence of a young female. And she walked through with us through to the old part of the castle, which is um, the library now. And uh, we walked into the middle of the room and uh, I felt a choking sensation and um, very low, very depressed. And th it was this girl and what she'd done, she got very depressed and she hung herself. And as she did, she was all in an old grey dress and her hair was all long and loose and ragged and she was unkept and uh, she just appeared like that and it was really frightening. You can still see how the old kitchen would have once been. And one of the most frequented ghosts that comes into this room is that of a young maid who met an unfortunate end to her life. She found out she was pregnant out of wedlock and committed suicide. Still to this day, the hustle and bustle and the noises of a working kitchen can still be heard coming from this room and the room next door. But when people enter this area, there's nobody here. In this small panel room, the ghostly figure of the white lady has been seen wandering from one side to the other. This apparition actually floats through a seemingly solid wall. But we can open the door and the door reveals a hidden staircase that takes you to another level. Everybody coming in? All right. You're right, Linda. We've got okay. our audience member here, Linda. <laughs> you you calm down a bit now? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, Kieran, this is the first room that we've come into. I mean, it's not too dark in here, obviously, because it's still light outside. Yeah. And you can see it's very ornate and, um, you know, instantly, you know, what, what do you feel from your point of view? Well, I've been in earlier on to take some baseline readings, temperature, EMF, that sort of thing, and there's nothing abnormal earlier on. Uh, but this place has a lot of history, mm -hmm. there have been sightings, there have been various things that have occurred, so we'll just wait and see what happens. Okay. And you alright, Linda, so far? Oh, okay. Derek, when you come in here, yes. uh, do you pick up on any activity or any presences, or is it just residual energy? There's a lot of residual here, uh, Evie. Mm -hmm. At this moment in time, in all honesty, I'm not picking up activity. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean to say that there hasn't been and there's not going to be, because the residual is thick. You'll think I'm absolutely silly, crazy no, with this. Cool. It, as I've just walked in now, those couple of paces, um, I heard a man's voice quite loudly, and it's like as if then I heard a response to the man's voice, as if I had a crowd of people, or if it's not a crowd of people, it seems to be a group of people, and he seems to be, in some way, holding the, um, uh, the council, so to speak, as if he's talking to a group of people, and it's like as if, you know, the listening ears, and I feel, um, when I come into this space, I don't know why, it, you know, this hasn't happened to me ever before either. I feel very learned, and I'm not. I, I feel as if, hey, you know, I want to put uh, things in front of myself. I want to sit down, and I want to start writing, right. because I'm listening to this man who's holding the, um, it's, you know what it feels like to me? It feels as if someone is doing a lecture or talking. In this room? Well, I, it's flowing, it's all over. All over. And a, a lot of people here, men and women, and it's like as if they're going past each other, mm -hmm. they're going past each other, and I feel as if, it's like a soul group this, as if they're here for a common purpose, okay. for the same reason. Do, I wonder what that could be, what were they, what are they here for? Oh, I don't know, I, I just ask Sam. What would they be here for, Sam? Yes, you, please help me with this. Okay. What? Does that fit with what you want me to say? Bless you. He's just said these words. It is, um, I'm correct with the lecture, and he said, Derek, college, college, whatever right. that means, okay. college. 
you want to go through to the other room? Man, a lot of men and women. All together learning yes. things? Yes, yes. Okay. Let's go through to this, the next room. It's a fantastic oh, I'm room. Very, I'm becoming aware now of a lady's energy separate. Go on. A very, very... Uh, oh, she walks around this beautiful um, castle. And I feel she walks very proudly. She walks very um, positively. She knows this place inside out. And she's... Um, she's... Um, how can I put it? She's annoyed, not with us. She's annoyed, but not with us. But she knows she, we're here. Yes. She's not annoyed with us. I'm, Sam's confirmed this. She's annoyed. She keeps on replaying the things. She, she, what, what does that mean, Sam? She's going to make a connection with us. Oh, fantastic. Oh, bless, bless. That's Thank good. you. Yeah. And she's, yes, she's walking around. She's still holding on to all the resentment, all the feelings, but they didn't stop her. Whatever what that mean? means. What does that mean, Sam? They didn't stop her from coming to this castle, which was her home. Who is she? Who is she? Okay. Okay, he's giving me a mental image. Please, oh, please let the spirit lady show herself some on this investigation. Oh, okay. But he's giving me, she's a very, um, she's not tall. Um, she's very, quite a slim lady. Um, she's, as the image comes, quite young looking to me. And with her, um, it's like as if she's looking down, or she does at times. And to me, I feel in a day, that's the way I can say, very trendy. Mm-hmm. And, um, very fashionable. Very fashionable. Mm -hmm. And I'm aware of a two-tone garment, and it's like, to me, like a, um, a slate-colored blue, and down, further down, it goes to a, another grey. Can you see how long her dress is? It's very long. So it is long? Very long. Okay. We're not uh, talking a modern or anything like that? No, but I, why I say, because Sam gives me that as well, is if she's trendy, but she's trendy because I feel she would have been in a position to have her clothes made to her design. Okay. And is she grounded here? She is. Right. Okay. She is. Is right. this a different historical period to the impressions you were getting in Absolutely. Her this in here. When was this period, Sam? Okay. Oh, it's just... I can hear bombs. I can hear noise. What does that mean? In our war, our wartime, recent. Okay, what? Give me it again. Yes. 1940, 1941. Second right. World War. Okay. Second so World War. So that's when people were learning. Yes, learning okay. and listening to this man. What? Well, We've only this been here, here a short space of time, haven't we? Yes. I have to just say, please join us after the break. This is very exciting because uh, we've picked up so much stuff. Please join us after the break to see what else we can find. Girl's bedroom. Now, we've come up uh, a flight of stairs. Uh, it really is quite spooky. And, of course, the light, uh, it's, not, it's not dark yet. So, goodness knows what it's going to be like at, at night. Now, Kieran, already uh, in the Earl's bedroom, the EMF has started going off. Yeah, and standing here for a few seconds, and like I said, I've been here earlier on for bass lines, and it wasn't going off, but it's fluctuating between 5 and 10. Do you want to have a walk round and see, yeah, see sure. where it goes? We'll just follow you with the camera. Good grief. It's just continuous. Mm -hmm. yeah. Derek, are you picking what Kieran's walking around? Yes. Different than, than the residual downstairs. Right at this moment now, I'm feeling again of this um, level of listening in, so I know... You see, I'm aware now of three spirit people. Are you? Firstly, one, a lady downstairs, and now, and, and I feel there's two males that are right now, at this second, this moment, are listening in. Do you think that's what's causing this to go on? I feel collectively the two energies, how far, yes. How far does it keep going? Should we go through into this room here? Mm -hmm. That's a, I've never seen an EMF continually go like that. Yeah, yeah. Once we talk, you go there. So three more spirits, you're saying? Two males, two, two males. And, and the lady. And the lady together. And you know, just the residual also from this lady yeah, is also it? passing through this here. So this she's room. coming through here? Yes, she comes through. She's adjusted to here. She knows it. She's attached to it. 
Okay. It's part of her. All right. So who do you think these two men are? I, I feel they, I don't know, they could be father, Yvette. son, they could be brothers. I feel they're attached. They're attached. David, hi David, I can, can hear you, you. I just want to know what reading the EM, EMF meter is at. Last night we got to 10. What is it tonight? What reading yeah, is it? It's fluctuating between 5 and 10. Thank you. It's, it's constant. And it's just constant, yeah. What can that, what can that, what, do you find that very unusual? I do find it unusual. We have to be careful that we're not picking up any electrical wires from the crew. But like I said, we were standing there for a period and it was just nothing. There well, what nothing would happen if, if, if we came in here and stayed in here and you were to walk through there? If I went through them, I'd and be And where sure all the electrical happen. equipment is. So if we, if, if, guys, if you all come this way, right, and then Kieran, if you go through there, okay. and we'll stay here. Okay. And let's see if it still keeps going. And you're going through basically where Derek is saying the spirit of the lady has been seen. It's still going. It's what? Still going. That's still going off. That is very strange. I feel when it gets um, you know, darker that this lady is really, really going to put the effort into... She's going to um, show herself. I, I wouldn't be at all surprised if the two um, the spirit and the, the two men as well. How are you feeling now in that? Yeah? yeah, yeah. yeah? You're feeling a little bit... Mm. <laughs> you're fine. That's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, sorry, before we were interrupted, these, have you managed to pick up on a lady? At all. We're upstairs uh, in the Earl's bedroom at Elverston Castle. But Derek, you come up with the spruce. Maria, 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 Maria. Maria. Father, she is mine. She is not fat anymore. No, she is mine. She is a Stanhope, whether you like that or not. She is a Stanhope. Father, go away. To do, she is my good lady, lady wife. I am proud of her. Father. Stay with me, Derek. Stay with me. Okay. Yes, you don't like the child. Yes, no. I'm the father, and I will be the father of this child. Who are you? Who are you picking up on? Charles. You're Charles. I'm Charles. You call me Charlie. Charlie? Yes. You call me Charlie. Charlie. How old are you, Charlie? Did, uh, 43. 43. Yes. 43, yes. And did you live here? I live here. You live here? You live here now? I live here. What year is it? With my Maria. What year is it, Charlie? 1833. 1833. Of course. What's your surname, Charlie? Stanhope. Charlie Stanhope. 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 Yes. My dear. You pretty, my dear. These colours. I like. When did you die, Charlie? When did you die? I have not. I have not. You have, Charlie. No, yeah. no, no, no. 
No, I have not. You have, Charlie. My dearest. Charlie, sweet Charlie. We've passed over, Charlie. Passed over. Do you know where you are? Who's my case? Who's my case? What did you do, Charlie? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? For a living? You don't. No, I don't. You don't know? No, I'm a visitor. You must tell me. You see my horses? No. <gasps> How many horses have you got? I, oh, more than you can count, my dear. How long have you been living here? How long have you been living here, Charlie? Hmm. You're right, Derek. 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 You're right. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Derek? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 He seemed a very nice man. Is he? Is he still He's a here? lovely soul. He's yeah. a lovely soul. He's How's a lovely, Matthew? lovely soul. He's still going. Ian Murphy's still going. He's a lovely soul. Yeah. He's. It's a pleasure. You're it's right. a pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. That was so pleasant. You've given us so much information. Yeah, a lot of information that we can check out back at the hub. Yeah. How are you feeling, Linda? Yeah. How did you feel then? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was a pleasure. Yeah. He was so lovely. You all right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. right. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. <laughs> we're gonna have a little bit of a breather there, uh, David. Okay. Can you hear me? Actually, when we were sort of waiting, they were, they were uh, on interactive, finding out how everybody was, uh, what they were finding out on the webcams. You yes. actually said to us as we were standing here yes. that you were, were sensed that something would happen behind us. Yes, I, I sense the energy uh, again of the female, a lady, and I feel it, it's exactly the same lady that I've been talking about. Yeah. The spirit lady, a very kindred, nice soul. Mm -hmm. And um, I just felt as if, although she was not showing herself, yeah. her energy, it just comes, it's like... She's, she's very, listening. very, very strong. And she's very interested. Okay, now what I want to do here, uh, if it's all right with Carl, mm -hmm. uh, we've got some walkie-talkies. I uh, and Carl would like to send uh, a couple of people off uh, to a position where another webcam is. Uh, and by a walkie-talkie, we can communicate with each other and see if anything happens. So, uh, and, and by the way, you both, Carl and Andy, who's, uh, who's uh, with security, you both felt very peculiar in the last room. In what way? Well, we did. Uh, we just came in here and Andy said, um, how did you feel in the last room? Um, and we were standing quite near a window, um, which is um, a very secure area, but it's near a window to keep out of the way. Um, and I felt kind of uh, a little bit enclosed, very tingly, like I couldn't move. Um, and Andy, what did you feel? Yeah, it was just like tingling sensations. You said it was claustrophobic. We were trying to move out of it. When we, if we had to do anything, you just felt we couldn't move. Okay. How is, um, for instance, how, Tom, how are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling quite comfortably, actually. Yes, all right. Sally, yeah. how are you feeling? Yeah. I don't feel like as negative as last night. I feel quite all right. Yeah. How about you, Kat? Do you think we're feeling all right because it's still light outside? Yeah, yeah. I think it's because wait till it goes dark, then that's when the feelings will start. Okay, all right. Well, yeah. Carl, who do you want to go up and where do you want to go? Um, Kat, would you like to go upstairs to the atrium? Yes. Okay. That's quite cool. All right. Um, and I'll go with you. All right. And yeah, right. Andy, do you want to give the walkie-talkie yeah, so we can communicate? We'll sort that out now. Okay, then. So what we'll do is, while everybody's sort of repositioning, we'll hand back to the hub, okay? Great. It was really weird. We were, as, as you've just said, we were actually repositioning from the ladyship's bedroom, and we noticed that there are these boxes just stacked up. They weren't there before. We've all been together. Um, everybody has said that they, you know, no one's done it as a joke or as a trick because no one would do that. But these boxes are just stacked in that position. And also, Kieran, when you went over it, straight away the EMF meter went off again. It went berserk. Yeah, but it's completely gone again. And then I walked down the corridor and came back and it just stopped. And I've left it there for the moment while we're standing here. Okay. Just next to the and boxes. you've also been having a look round round the table. Yeah, because, because it, from being here before and some of the crew, they noticed that a stack of boxes were actually on the table, so it's not like they've been dragged from any position. They've you know, they're literally, come off. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I, I mean, why do you think that would have happened, Derek? Well, uh, to me, it's quite obvious. If he, you know, we have got activity here in this castle, and these people who seem to be kindred, not here to at this moment to harm us. It's like saying, "Hey, we know you're coming this way." Okay, all Trying right. to draw attention, you know, that Okay, all right. Well, David, I mean, 
I can't explain it. Kieran can't explain it. At the moment, it's, it's fascinating. Melanie, what, what do you think to all this so far? I'm just a bit gobsmacked much at the moment. Are you? Yeah. Do you? I mean, it's strange, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So there you go, David. That's what's happened now. We're going to reposition uh, to the kitchen. Also, Carl and Kath are going to go up to the top of the castle, so keep an eye out for them on the webcam there. Okay? Will do. Yvette, how does it feel to be in that position where you think the boxes, boxes have moved on their own? It's very exciting to think that they've possibly moved, uh, you know, on, on their own. It's just a bit bizarre because, of course, your rational thinking is, oh, come on, someone's messing about. Has somebody come in here and stacked those boxes like that? But we know the team, we know everybody, that they're not going to do anything like that. So it is quite frightening but, and nobody was here at all. But, it, but if it was truly poltergeist activity, surely you would have heard something. Can you ask Derek that for me? Yeah, if it was, David is just saying, if it's poltergeist activity, surely we would have heard something. Why boxes? wouldn't we have heard? Not necessarily. These are boxes. They're not, you know, either wood or metal. And to, for a, uh, a spirit person, okay, to gently move boxes, they're not very heavy, you wouldn't hear very much noise, would you? No, and Kieran, they, they, have you check them over with a torch. They are empty, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a few little bits of paper in the bottom and a few little scraps of things in the top, but apart from that, they're completely empty. Okay, well we'll keep an eye on that. We, we, we know now because we filmed it, we've got it, we've caught it, we know what position it is in. Okay, yeah. Matthew, what do you think to this? I wanted to ask you, you said that um, Kieran had no ready explanation for it, but uh, can we ask him to see, because obviously he's there, he's got more of a sense of where yeah. the crew and other people have been. You know, what would be his you know, potential explanation for what might have happened there? Well, I think the difficulty is what we've got an example of is non-recurrent uh, spontaneous phenomena Look toward the camera, don't you? and yes we were in the other room so the difficulty is that we didn't have a locked off camera here so we don't know if there is a natural explanation for what's going on okay okay all right well there are there are the boxes that is I, I'm speechless let's what, what what do the viewers at home think do they think it's paranormal if so, do they, do, who do they think has caused it? Please, please ring in. Is anything moving in their home while the programme's going out? Please let us know. Please call in. It's so important. And keep your eye on those webcams, because if this has already happened and we're, we're, we've only just started, what else could happen? We're relying on you to help us out here. So, Carl and Kath, do you want to make your way up to the top? And we'll reposition to the kitchen. So it's back to you, David. Let's Lovely. go reposition. Hi. We're, we're, as I say, we're here in the kitchen. Now, something very strange has happened to one of our riggers here. This is Ross. Now, Ross, just tell us exactly what happened to you. You were all right? Oh, it was quite strange. After the last set of upstairs and by those boxes, mm -hmm. I was getting quite warm. And everybody sort of left, left the reposition and was just tidying it to come down. And I was the last one behind. And something just grabbed me, leg. Are you all right? You're shaking like yeah, a leg. I, I know. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm absolutely... And you're absolutely, you're absolutely sure? I'm absolutely sure. You know when somebody's got your leg. A proper... You felt a yeah, hand I felt on your leg? Yeah, I felt it on my leg. And this was where we've just come from? It was, just by those boxes. Yeah. You're right. So how are you going to feel about being here when it's really dark later? Well, job's got to be done, but... <laughs> are you going to be able to go up on your own? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought, well, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get myself together. That was strange. I yeah. Mean, you know. you visit, but are you OK now? Yeah, fine. Yeah. You're all right. You're happy very, to continue? Yes, yeah, I'm very hot, though. Very OK. Hot. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You're hot. Also, we've got Vicky, our new audience member. How are you feeling? I'm fine, yeah. Yeah? A bit shocked? Excited. Great stuff. Well, already some things have happened, which is quite remarkable. Now, Derek, how are you feeling? Because oh, it's it's sorry, okay. Sandra. It's okay. How are you feeling? Because a lot of um, the audience members at home are, are actually uh, audience members at home. The audience at home are actually picking up on. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, God. it's all right, Sylvia. It's okay. It's what's all right. Matter? What's the matter? Okay. Carl, where are you? Are you front of the webcam, Carl? Carl, answer yeah. me back now. We've just had stuff thrown down from the yeah. steps. Yeah. Carl, can you hear me? Come in, Carl. I can hear you. I'm standing right in front of the webcam with Ken. Something's just thrown steps. So, what was it? What was it? Was it? All it was was a stone. So, when I was sitting there, we heard the banging. So yeah. we just come out and make sure what was happening, then all of a sudden, and it was, it was as if they'd just been slung. They're not just dropping down gently, they've just been slung down. Yeah, the listen, do you hear that above again? Yeah, the, what's been thrown on the floor? It's we don't know, there. there's just stones where, just can you like, see it? Yeah, yeah. Bits and of there. plaster on the floor. Just it was. Come, yeah, yeah. Just, but we heard a bang. Just yeah. then, just then, yeah, above, it was like on the, uh, the railings, a bing, 
But you, know, you like came thing. through there so quickly. Tell me what you heard, Andy. As, well, like you said, we were sitting there, we've heard the bang, it, well, we heard what we thought was doors. So I was just coming out to make sure that everything was okay on that side. Make sure that there was no one out on that front bit. And as literally as I've come out, it's just like, and it was just a couple, it was about four or five pieces just come standing down. And that's why I just jumped back because I wasn't expecting that. Because so I'd already checked up to make sure that okay, I'm in, on that yep, side. I'm in. Okay, now, Kieran, what do you think? Uh, I think we have to be very careful about interpreting this as poltergeist activity because remember, we are in a derelict place. There are also people upstairs. I'm not saying it's going to be fraudulent, but we've got to be careful of the structure of the building that's not some natural explanation. What, what, was, what was thrown? Was it a stone or was it what? Well, the thing is, there's no glass. Who's up there? Like there? Is that you, Carl? Who's up the stairs? Oh. Who was it? Who is it? Then? I just saw this. Hey, can you hear me? Hi, Carl. I'm in front of the webcam. Who's that? Which webcam, love? Who is it? Webcam 2. Are you in front of so webcam 2, yeah? Give us the location, a location where you are, love. Atrium. Okay, you're in the atrium. Okay, so you're not anywhere near these stairs. So you, no one could have moved and thrown any... Did you hear what, so, what was going upstairs? Somebody's on the stairs. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, there was a big bang up there. Tell me what you heard. It just it sounded like a couple of boxes had fallen over. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's go back in. Let's go back yeah. in. Okay? Yeah. Okay, we're just going to go back in. Everybody all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vicky, you all right? I'm fine. Yeah. yeah? Are you okay? You all right? Hello, Carl. Are you trying to get hold of me? Yeah, yeah. okay. Right. Sure it's not loose masonry or anything. Yeah, it's all right. We've just checked. We've, che we've just checked it out. We're back in the kitchen now. We're going to uh, talk to Derek. Mm. So, Derek, are you all right? Yes, I am. Yes. That what's just happened. Although I wasn't in that area, that was definitely, in my opinion, okay, um, a spirit person, if not spirit persons, actually picking up debris, what have you, and you know, throwing it down in our direction. I mean, we've got to think. You know, Karen, we could, we're here for the investigation mm -hmm. to see him, what have you. And I think they're responding. Okay. I really do. Okay. And it's not, I don't feel in a bad way because, you know, I, I don't feel that they're aiming this sort of stuff at us. It's like we're asking, so they're trying to so respond gonna, in So they're going to do it. So I think everybody that, that's here, um, you know, to keep their eyes and ears open because I'm feeling this is, this is quite good um, and hopefully more will happen. Yeah. We're really excited here, David. I mean, a lot of stuff is happening. Uh, it's fantastic. Hi, um, everybody here. It's been quite confusing because things have been happening. I, I just want to find out from Carl uh, how he's doing. Carl, how are you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Yvette. Um, it's been quite strange up here. We, we've moved to the atrium. Uh, we heard a noise and opened and shut while we've been there, um, which is further up some stairs, and we've, we think we've seen something walk past the door. Oh. Well, we're, Carl, we're definitely going to come and join you after we've been here in the kitchen, but we're going to stay in the kitchen for a little bit here, okay? Fantastic. Thanks a lot. Okay. All right, Vicky? Yeah. yeah? Okay. So, Derek, you said um, when we were on the break that you were, you were being joined by another uh, male spirit. Who would that Absolutely. be? Absolutely. Um, I've got this, um, it was with me for a little while, and I've got this um, authoritative figure. Now, when I say authoritative, I feel as if I'm looking at people working and, and you know with a stern eye but not saying anything i was taking his vibrations on and i feel that he um in this area ground floor he would be an overseer of people um and i feel also when i got that energy is if although we're in a kitchen and um, i can smell uh, or i could smell um leather i could also, I was aware of, um, forgive the words, horse fragrance of, you know, um, manure. manure. Yeah. And I feel this man must have worked around all these conditions, maybe tended horses, what have you. But uh, I, I feel he, um, in actual fact, before we come into this kitchen, I felt the expression of a spirit person behind me, okay. walking behind me. And this would be he? Most definitely. So who is he then? Can you try and see if Sam can give you a name? This, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was asking mm -hmm. quietly, but Sam, and he was the one that was giving me the mental impressions. Okay. Oh, thank you. Bless you. Okay. He's in service. He's in service 
for the ale. Go on more. A bit more, Sam. Yeah. Okay. Who moved that? Is somebody outside that door? What? You're joking me. Mm -hmm. You okay? Is it's okay. Here behind us? Did, yeah. did anybody hear a shuffle? Because I heard a shuffle. Did you hear? No, did no one else hear it? It was like, but you were all standing still. But it was like a, but not as loud as that, obviously. Henry, Henry, Henry. This is the soul. Henry. Is that first name? Or surname? Henry. It's first name. Okay. Okay. Is that what he's saying? He is around here. Yes. He only takes orders from Earl, and then he keeps on saying, Lester, Lester, Lester. What does that mean, Sam? He's his governor. He's his governor. Henry, Henry, he's the one that is being, um, is the, do I say that way? Following our trail. I feel he'd be the one <gasps> that's been um, moving things. So Henry. Henry. Okay. Can you see if you can get a surname with Henry? See, please, Sam. Bartlett. Bartlett. Henry Bartlett. Bartlett. Bar is, is that he... my pronouncing this properly? Bartlett. Is he in the room now? I feel his energy has come in. Can you see an energy? Can you see a form? No, I feel he's concealing this. You see... Sa sorry, Sally, to just explain exactly what it is you saw. Uh, What's the matter? No, I thought you saw something behind me. No, no. Um, um, I saw like a shadow go right across you like quickly. Behind but me? But there's no sources of light in here, so I don't know how that can be. But I mm. saw like a black thing just go... Whoosh. How do you that feel? energy. I feel it's really spooky in here, actually. Yeah? I don't like it. <coughs> yeah? Yes. Okay. So Henry Bartlett. Henry Bartlett. And he's, Sam has said that he's absolutely, um, it's like as if anything that Lester requires, Henry is there for him. And I feel he had, he would have had some kind of... <gasps> oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, I'm down to the limp cord. Sorry, Olivia. Um, right. <laughs> and I... I'm so, so sorry for my bad language. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, dear. I feel there was a, a bit of a fear factor with this, um, how can I put it, this man's supervision, even to the uh, females, the ladies who were in service, I feel, because I'm getting that group condition. And I don't feel he was adverse to um, shout, you know. Okay. No, I don't feel evil, but shout and, and okay. get angry. But I want standards. Okay. I want standards. Carl, can you hear me? Yeah, How's it going up there? We've just been into one room, we've had a door shut behind us, and we've had one shut, well, more or less, in front of us. Okay, David, what I would like to do now... <laughs> strange noises too. Okay, what I think is a good thing, and I think everybody at home would probably agree, and everybody in the audience, is I think we should go exactly where Carl and Kath are, because there seems to be a lot of stuff happening. You all right, Vicky? What's the matter? It's, door it's, 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 it's all right, okay. So, we, so it's back to you in the hub while we reposition to go upstairs. Is that okay? I've been here very long, but already um, Kath uh, and I think Andy and Carl, you all, well, tell us what you heard. Hang on, Kath, we need to get round to you with the sound. It was a moan. I heard a moan and I asked Andy, I said, what did you, did you hear something? He said, yeah. And he said it was a moan. And Ray also heard it too. He thought it was us two. Okay, tell, tell me what you heard, Andy. It was, it was like we said, it was just the moment it's come from behind us because we was all overlooking on that position. Okay. And as you said, we heard the moan. What, it's just, like a man's moan? Yeah, it was like yeah, a man's moan. It's just like down that corridor, okay. just to the left or to your right as you're looking at it. And Carl, tell us, tell us exactly what, when you were up here with Kath, you came up here and had a little bit of a walk around. What sort of things were you hearing uh, up, up and around here? And where, where do you think they came from? Um, well, Kath and I first, we thought we saw something in this, in this doorway here from, from down by the webcam. We, we came up and, and started to walk down the corridor. We went to one of the rooms and a door slammed, which was behind a door where we were. We were, we were both standing next to each other. A door just 
slammed shut. We looked further into the room and there was this, this door sort of hanging half open. Um, we started to come out of the room and a door s- slammed right behind us, which kind of scared both of us a little. Well, you were more scared than Okay, me. I was a little bit more scared than okay. Kathy at that particular point. All right. Well, what do you want to do? Do you, do you think it'd be a good idea, Derek? For which, which direction would you like to go in? Do you want to stay here for a little while? Do you want to go to the right? Do you want to go to the left? Where do you want to go? Well, my preference, the, the feelings would yeah. be to go in that direction. All right. Should we have a yeah. slow walk down there? Can be we? careful because yeah. there are some stairs. Oh, everybody, please be careful. All right. We'll go first. And then, John, do you want to follow on? Now, where we're heading is to actually towards the, um, the webcam that is positioned um, on the chair. And funnily enough, uh, Carl actually uh, walkie talkied up to us when we were in a break. And apparently the label, there is a label on the chair. Um, but if you can still see us on the webcams, we're just passing you now. Um, there's a label on the chair and apparently it was fluttering like it was in a breeze, but there is no breeze. Okay, can you see us on the webcams? Can you, crew, can you wave at the webcams? There you are. Okay, everyone. Right, okay, Derek. This is, this is uh, a lot of activity has been reported in this area yes. on this upper level. Yes. Now, you mentioned downstairs in the kitchen that it could possibly be this Henry Bartlett that you'd mentioned. I firmly believe it is in, in his movements around. Yes, okay. I do. Any, any, any particular... Do you feel that he's still listening to us? Do you feel he's around? All evening, Evie, uh, there's been listening. He is here. Spirit people's listening um, to us. Interesting. Following us around, actually. Mm. Um, again, I, I, I want to point out where the name Henry, that personality, that spirit person is concerned. I don't feel uh, in any way, shape or form that this person is a bad dark, evil sort of person, just a person that is probably way, way interested that this team were all here, okay. and wondering what the heck we're, we're getting up to. All right, well, how, what do you think about this? Why don't we be really, really quiet? Everybody stand still, do not move. John, are you happy with your shot? Because I don't yeah. want you to move or even make a noise. Sure. Nobody move. And I'll, mm-hmm. should, should we ask out and see if anything happens, Kieran? Do you yes, think it would be a good idea? Yeah. good idea? If we hear noises, bangs behind you or anything, yeah. let us know. If anybody at home sees anything on the webcams while we're talking and being quiet, please, please let us know. Okay. Maybe we concentrate really hard. Yes. Henry Bartlett, can you hear my voice? If there's any spirit here in the room or in this castle that can hear my voice clearly, can you make a noise? Can you open and close a door? Can you move something? Can you do something at all? Anything at all to let us know that you are here and you can hear my voice. Can you hear my voice? Anybody here at all? I'm just going to be really quiet now. Just uh, focus on the label on the chair again. Why? Put my torch on it as it moving. Okay, the label's moving on the t- on the chair. Can you see it moving? That moved a lot earlier. Yeah. You can see that moving. Is there a very big draft or anything, Karen? We need to be very careful because obviously there are some external doors that are open. Mm-hmm. Um, So we just need to make sure that it's not a draft. Is it still moving? I can't see it. Yes? Slowly. Slowly. That's me. That's me. I just moved. That's all my fault. That's okay. Okay. I'm just seeing if there's a draft. I mean, it is... There doesn't seem to me... I put my hand near here. All I can feel is cold. It's like it's cold. Yeah. But there's no draft. Mm-hmm. It's it's about six degrees colder here than it was down in the kitchen. 
That's weird. There is no draft. Yes. That could be, you know, accountable to this for the... Um, you're talking about stuff happening here, yeah. um, psychically, spiritually. Um, it could be that at this point, like we found in many, many investigations, a vortex, okay? A vortex, entry, exit, mm. um, and you're going to get this experience. Well, I can yeah. tell you now, the reason you have no idea, Derek, but this chair has been known to move. That's yes. why it's here. Mm -hmm. When it's positioned, in, it's left for a while, yeah. people will come back and it will be in a completely different position well, well, and, yeah. and, and the people that work here say they've never touched it so mm. we've left it where it is yeah. but it's interesting there's no draft but the label mm. is just fluttering away and additionally we've left it specifically here with the webcam on it yes yeah. that's so why that people can see yeah. if so if anybody moving. at home sees anything at all you must let us know I think what we should do is move back up that way mm -hmm. to where we were and to where Carl and Kath were earlier yeah. because I think they they reported on quite a, a lot of activity yes. so let's let's go back up that way okay. what I'm hoping for is mm -hmm. you know it's typical that you know hello can you see us on the webcam hello. <laughs> um, they've heard bangs, yeah. uh, doors opening and closing, mm -hmm. and I want to catch it on camera. Yeah, Love it. you know, and I'm, I, you know, there is going to be a séance here later on, and I'm, I, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm thinking this is a, this is a really good location oh, for, yeah, possible, yes, yeah, for something to, to happen. Yeah, and you know, I'm really hopeful that we're going to catch something on camera. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's. Should we keep moving down that way? Yeah, Carl? Mm -hmm. There. Yeah. Where do you tell me, Carl, where you saw where did what did, where did you see the noises? You see the noises. Yeah. <laughs> Hear the noises. That looks that looks pretty scary. Oh my god, I don't like that at all. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody alright? Yeah. Everybody okay? Derek, if you yes, if you pick there, anything I'll up, just say. Right away, have you? This room. I'll show you what. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Step aside. All right. Is everybody okay? Yeah. Fine, thanks. We're all okay. safe. All right. Well, there's another step coming up. Guys, watch the steps. Okay. That's the door. Okay. Kevin, I, Kevin, I'm standing here. Here, John. Yeah. That's the door. We're going to reposition now to the graveyard. We're going to go outside to the graveyard. This is a truly fascinating location. It really is. And whoever end up uh, coming and do the seances later, I'm, uh, they're going to have a fantastic time. I'm absolutely sure of it. We're going to repo to the graveyard. David, it's back to you. It's time to go to our next location. This is the graveyard. Let's have a look at where we are going. Okay. This is the 3D image of it. This will show you. There it is, the graveyard. And that is where Yvette Derrick and the rest of the team have now relocated to. Let's go over now and join them. Hi, we're, we're here in the graveyard and we've uh, been joined by Jeff. Now that's weird, isn't it, the story about the premonition? That's right. That's yeah. really peculiar. And you just had a dream and, and knew that you were going to be picked? That's right, yeah, I did, yeah. How do you feel? Uh, I thought, I just, I'm privileged to be here today. Uh, I, just, I just felt before I came here that I'd be actually on the show. And David's obviously asked you this as well, hasn't he? That's so, right, yeah. Well, we're here in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. um, not a particularly pleasant place to be um, as we're heading towards the midnight hour. So let's walk through into this particular area because, okay. I mean, well, oh, yeah. Before we do that, yeah. I think it'd be a good idea if I go off to the seance room now yes. and set up some equipment, yes. if that's all right, and you just keep me posted on what's going on. All right, on. well, you, you go off there and we'll okay. keep you posted. All, all right, right, then, cheers. off you go. Yeah, Kieran's got some um, equipment that he has to set up in readiness for the seance. So we'll walk on through now into the graveyard. So come on then, Jeff. Okay. Now, Derek, I'm going to sort of start asking you to... Yes. If you're picking up on anything in particular okay. as we're coming to a certain position. Okay. And I want you to give me some of the details. Now we can walk over this bit here. Yes. Can you see? Straight yes. in front of you. Just walk here. over. Yeah, you can. You can just yes. walk straight over there. Okay. You all right, Jeff? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Everybody all right? Okay. 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 Yes. All right. Oh. They can see us on the webcam as well. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what I'm very aware of now? What? Because we've just come into this section, which has, like, opened it up here for me. There's a lady's energy that is... She walks here. Yeah. 
all the time. Come on, son, can we get encouraged? Come on. Yes. You know, she when she walks here, this is absolutely so strange even to me. Mm -hmm. It's like as if the replaying uh, to me here from the spirit, mm -hmm. okay, that... Um, it's like as if she's talking as she's walking. It's like as if she walks along and the hands and she's... The only way I can describe it is like reciting, reciting the, sa the same thing over. I, can you give it a little bit clearer to me, more better, Sam? And I'll understand what this means. I feel she's also, this spirit lady, this nice lady, she seems to have um, uh, a funny side to her, uh, as if she's reciting, it's, it's like words, and she's joyful about it, and as if like she's taking some kind of, the words it could be taken, I don't know, from a, a book or something, or, and she's reciting, uh, but it's like as if she's going into like a character, a personality. Right. And it's like she's, um... I, I would put it this way, the, the interview, Angela, I'm getting here to come with this here. It's like, I, I feel as if um, I could be on, like, a stage. This is weird. So, are you picking up any connection with this lady in this particular grave? Now, you can't see what's written on this no, gravestone because it's pitch black. No, you can You can't see anything, can you? No. All it's right. here. It's, it's laid in here. And, you know, it's as, like, as if she... Um, Wow, wow, wow. It's the lady who I first talked about. Yeah. Come on, Sam, give me that again, please. So it's the same lady that you first picked up yes. upstairs. Yes, yes. And, you know, I get this quite simply. Maria. 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 Okay. And, you know, this is her area. This is where she walks, where she's hap happy to be. Why, why is she coming here? I, I just feel as if she's got, um... The only way I can put it is if feelings of um, fondness, rest. Okay. Fondness and rest. Can you find out why she died? Oh, I'll ask. How she died, why she died, and we need to find that out. Now, as you asked that question, Ivy, um, I, 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 I felt as if the way it was coming, as if everything just went dark on me. I'm taking the position of this um, lovely spirit soul. Um, it's just like... It's like as if this has happened quickly with her. It's happened quickly. You see, that's... At this moment, that's all I, I'm receiving is if... It, it just went dark. Now, what does that mean, Sam? Okay, I feel in, in some manner, and this is on the, on the, only the psychic level, mm -hmm. is if one moment she's, like, awake, alive, and then suddenly, rather quickly... Went. She's gone. So quickly. That could have been attributed to something that was uh, a bodily function. Okay. A bump. I, and, uh, and and I don't feel foul about it. Do you understand me? Okay. For some reason. You getting it? She's saddened the way in which she did come over. Mm -hmm. She's so saddened. She's angry. But it is a, a controlled anger. Okay. There's blame coming through. Blaming. You'll have to open this up for me, Sam, please. Uh, yes, a uh, link is not as strong as what it should be. The blame, the blame. So she's not a total rest. That's why, yeah, okay. She can't be, okay. 
Okay. Is that because she won't talk to you? I feel she's not conversing with Sam adequately enough. To bring over the... To, to bring over this. Okay. This is her grave. This is her this grave? This is her grave. I just know that her energies are returning. All the time. Yes. All the time. All the time. Okay. All the time. And this is definitely a lady called Maria. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, David, we've, you know, this, he's picked up, you know, and the fact that this, this lady is here all the time around the grave, and it's Maria, the same lady that was in the house that he picked up on earlier on. I don't know what you think of that, or our historians think of that in the hub. Okay, well, we're here... Um, outside uh, in the graveyard still and we're standing uh, behind um, a wall now Derek you don't know anything about this wall no. um, but I'm, we're all intrigued to, to find out if you can give us more information about what sort of things have happened here Jeff how are you feeling uh, so far uh, with your time here with the investigative team I'm feeling fine it's very it's very uh, spooky yeah isn't it it is yeah <laughs> you should have been inside <laughs> so Derek as I say are you picking anything up outside here well you know we're in a graveyard and yes I get this rest and peace from the residual energy of no doubt souls who you mm. know had to uh, leave the physical life but I'm also getting a lot of unease as well a lot of unease okay. and that unease is not connected here okay and yes it's around us okay it's like the walking souls of um well there's a lot of discontentment in this area i want you to come up here and and, and feel that there's some holes in this wall and i want you to see if you can pick up on anything oh yeah there's there's a lot oh, there's a lot oh you're right you're yeah, right yeah yeah a lot of souls left very quickly left the physical body i feel down and i feel you know there was a hopelessness um, a, a feeling of uh, not being able to do anything about this. Um, Who were they? Who were these people? Infiltration. What? What's that mean? Okay. They're showing me. These, they're showing me soldiers. They're showing me shoulder, soldiers. A, a large group of soldiers. What era? What are they dressed in? What do they look Come on. like? They, what, what are they, what's that what I'm being seen? Oh, okay. What are they, Sam? Round heads. The oh, round yes. heads. The round heads. They shouldn't have been here. They come in a group. They come on the horses. They came up the lane. They came up a lane. And they shouldn't have been here. And they lined people up. They got them. They got them. Yes? What? So, this is Cromwell's... Crom Cromwell's troops? Mm -hmm. And they shot them here? They shot the men here. They dropped. They went down. Can you pick up on any names of the people that died here? Any, any names at all? Is that coming through? You're right. Yeah. It was between 9 and 11, 11 souls that dropped the bullet, okay? Sixteen four six. They keep on giving me 16, 4, 6. 16, 46. 16, 46. The That's May of 46. That's when they died? Yes. That's what the, well, I, I, that's what they're giving me. Okay. Any names? Some did, some didn't even, um, they had to wait and suffer. They suffered. They weren't even hit. And they, they stood, they stood until they were hit. Oh. oh. And some were wounded. They weren't, they didn't come out of the physical body right away. And they finished them off. You're right. Yeah, right. oh, the blood and everything. Not nice. No. Okay. Horrible. All right. Okay, well, what we're going to do now is we're going to come back to the hub. What is happening now is that we've got some guests that have actually come to Elveston Castle. They are actually 
in a seance at the moment. It has started uh, with David Wells and also Kieran O'Keefe is there with um, some technical equipment as well. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens uh, to our audience members here that are in the castle. As I say, we are now going to come back to the hub. Uh, so, it's, as I say, let's see what happens with the seance. I'm here with the investigative team. I'm feeling fine. It's very, it's very uh, spooky. Yeah, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> you should have been inside. <laughs> so Derek, as I say, are you picking anything up outside here? Well, you know, we're in a graveyard. And yes, I get this rest and peace from the residual energy of no doubt souls who, you mm. know, had to uh, leave the physical life. But I'm also getting a lot of unease as well. A lot of unease. Okay. And that unease is not connected here. Okay. And yes, it's around us. Okay. It's like the walking souls of. Um, well, there's a lot of discontentment in this area. I want you to come up here and, and, and feel that there's some holes in this wall. And I want you to see if you can pick up on anything. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, a, oh, there's a lot. Oh. You all right? You all yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. A lot of souls left very quickly left the physical body I feel down and I feel you know there was a hopelessness um, a, a feeling of uh, not being able to do anything about this um, who were they who were these people infiltration what what's that mean okay they showed me they, they showed me soldiers they're showing me shoulder, soldiers, a, a large group of soldiers. What era? What are they dressed in? What do they look Come on. like? They, what, what are they, what's that what I'm being seen? Oh, okay. What are they, Sam? Round heads. The oh, round yes. heads. The round heads. They shouldn't have been here. They come in a group. They come on the horses. They came up the lane. They came up a lane. And they shouldn't have been here. And they lined people up. They got them. They got them. Yes? What? So, this is Cromwell's, Cromwell's troops. Mm -hmm. And they shot them here. They shot the men here. They dropped. They went down. Can you pick up on any names of the people that died here? Any, any names at all? Is that coming through? You're right. There was between nine and eleven, eleven souls that dropped the bullet. Okay. Sixteen four six. They keep on giving me sixteen four six. 1646, 1646, the that's May of 46. That's when they died? Yes. That's what, they, well, I, I, that's what they're giving me. Okay. Any names? Some, did, some didn't even, um, they had to wait and suffer. They suffered. They weren't even hit. And they, they stood, they stood until they were hit. Oh. oh. And some were wounded. They went, they didn't come out of their physical body right away. And they finished them off. You're right. Yeah, You're right. Oh, the blood and everything. Not nice. No. Okay. Horrible. All right. Okay, well, what we're going to do now is we're going to come back to the hub. What is happening now is that we've got some guests that have actually come to Elverston Castle. They are actually in a seance at the moment. It has started uh, with David Wells and also Kieran O'Keefe is there with um, some technical equipment as well. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens uh, to our audience members here that are in the castle. As I say, we are now going to come back to the hub. Uh, so it's, as I say, let's see what happens with the seance.